Welcome to the turtle made it to the stream stream. I am Annabelle and This is where we just do the thing and have fun and all that kind of nonsense, I guess um, Hey quick stop Nirvana. Ooh leveling a DK and ice grind right now. What we're doing right now in the stream Oh, the jump board happened ah! um we're going through all of the older content uh, revolving around S Sylvanas and because now that we know that the Shadowlands is a thing and I'm just kind of wondering how we got here and I didn't put my mascara on. It was just sitting here on my on my uh, on my desk. So just real quick. So I have eyelashes. Um. <laughs> You see, you see what I mean when I say we're a little bit behind, but we're having fun. Um, so, without further ado, I hope. There we go. Yes. I set up all my hotkeys so that actual, like, things would happen. And you guys, guess what? You guys. You guys, guess what? We have a PvP talent slot available. I don't know why I find that funny. I find that funny and now you have to suffer, basically. Like TLDR, I think it's hilarious. I don't really care if anybody else does, so. Um, hang on. They completely redid the entire um, Twitch dashboard. And I've had it on mine, but I have not seen it yet on the Blizzard Watch site. So I'm like, what is going on? I can actually squish that over a little bit. Okay. This is actually going to be, it's, it's going to be good for me. Much like, much like, um, eating my vegetables. It's going to be good for me eventually, but right now I am sullen and angry about it. Like the child that I am. <laughs> um, so, oh, we can run an ad break now. Ooh. And do a watch party. Ooh, we can raid a lot more easily. Awesome. That's really cool. I don't know. I don't know that that's something that you guys care about, but. Because I, I would do like a little like, look over here. Here's the channel. But like, I don't, I don't actually know. That's kind of loud. Um, I don't super know where everything is so I can't really help you help me familiarize myself with this nonsense because it's a lot it's a lot going on over here right now so um, excuse me if I ignore you on accident I don't mean to my the chat oh okay I can move stuff around okay that's cool no there we go all right so that'll be okay there we go Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to like, all of a sudden set everything up. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so we have a PVP talent. We have our cat. We haven't kind of heard the name for the cat yet. And I feel like we need a name for the cat, but I have some coffee, which is now cold because I sat down to like start doing the stream. I was like, oh my God, what happened? Um. We still need to find the lady who's going to teach us how to ride a pony or an undead pony or whatever. But we'll do that after this little story beat here, I think. And we've already, we, we got sent to Hillsbrad like five levels ago. It was kind of ridiculous. So we're going to start in with my girl. I have no time for games. I had no doubt that you would succeed. I hope you can understand. Oh, wait. <laughs> what are we if not? I'm moving around. She's not moving challenge. around. I'm just moving around. Okay, Sylvanas. <laughs> that horse. I don't know. I don't know why. This is so stupid. So Clonus. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should Crowley and Bloodfang have found out about our plan, they would have surely gotten. Crowley first and dispose of the body. Ashberry, Walden, and Crowley. Okay. Time of their rebirth is at hand. All right, that's cool. You are unwavering your loyalty to the Forsaken. Know that what you have done for us, for the Horde, will not go unnoticed. With Lord Godfrey and his men uncovered, recovered, 
You'll have a great advantage over the Gilneas Liberation Front and the rest of the Alliance dogs. Oh, that is such a good turn of phrase. Oh, that's so good. The rest of the Alliance dogs. Oh, she's so snarky. I love it. Now stand by my side as Lord Godfrey is reborn as one of us. Together we will bring him and his men into the fold. All right. Rise, Lord Vincent Godfrey. That is like the most 80s emo name ever. Vincent Godfrey. I'm pretty sure Godfrey is uh, Vincent's last name in Final Fantasy VII. Bleh. And then we will crush the Morgan Uprising and retake Golden Age for the sake and uh, for the hordes is High Warlord Chromush. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Hey, Cory, what's up? The irony of what I've become is not lost upon me, Sylvanas. Though, as I have always said, better dead than Morgan. Oh, snap. In this case, better undead than Morgan. Oh, snap. And he's a zombie in a top hat. So I could have played a new wave man. Exactly. Oh my gosh, what is that emote? Oh, ha oh, that's for the um for the ho for the holiday one. Ha ha cat. Oh, it's a keyboard cat, but it's like a little pumpkin or something or a holiday thing. That's cute. Whatever you need, you'll find in the su supply depot. Uh, without you, we had not made this far. Walk with me. All right. Mustache. Bongo cat with a cake. I think it's a, like a Christmas pudding, right? You're like 17 Twitch windows open, <laughs> trying to link more holiday emotes. Oh no! What joy is there in Today this marks curse. a new beginning for the Forsaken and the end of the Alliance in Lordaeron. While Godfrey and I make preparations for assault upon Gilneas, I want you to lead our attack upon Ambermill. Okay. The former Dalaran Magi of Ambermill have erected a magical barrier that somehow cloaks them from vision. They're in pocket dimensions. There's all. There's a goose. There's a goose one. Oh my god. I only have one half of the one. There's a woman yelling at the caddy about. Oh my god. I have to do holiday stuff. Like I'm tempted to like bits it up right now just to. Oh my god, it's the goose. <laughs> That's amazing. Um. I might do bits a different day. I'm not going to do it today, but that's amazing. Do I even have bits? I think I have bits because they keep doing promotions where, like, if you get bits, you get, like, subs or whatever. That's cool. All right. So we have to go to Ambermel and kill a whole bunch of Dalaran mages? Like, we were just in cahoots with the Mages of Dalaran. I don't know where you get off telling me to kill Dalaran Mages. Who stands in our way. The Magi of Ambermill have always employed foul magic to keep us away. Well, yeah. Elemental servitors created with immunities we cannot breach protect their territory. Well, yeah. That's what mages do. They control the uh, like water and stuff. Like they have frozen things. I'm so tripped out by that. Like why? Okay, we gotta go to Cheers Ball for this. So we, I don't understand. Like we, they. They had just gotten out of that expansion where it's like, we're at the, the Lich King and we're all working with Dalaran and Dalaran is like flying. Like they, the mages made Dalaran fly because they were so like, we're gonna get our that's it. And now Sylvanas is like, no, just kill him. And then last expansion, we were also working with the mages of Dalaran. Like, I'm very confused. And this was before Jaina like, Apparently in some book she was like, I'm gonna murder everyone in Argamar And then she got talked off a ledge somehow. I don't I don't read the book, so I don't super know how that happened. It's a cycle of hatred. But I mean they're just protecting their stuff from them though. Like 
Although I don't know why they didn't just like hop on. <laughs> like, why would you? Like, okay, bye. Do, is there any reason why they're guarding the crater anymore? Like, the Amber Mill people don't need to be there anymore. Although, I mean, at this point, why are those farmers still trying to make a, like, hoe a row up in freaking Tears Fall? Like, the, the writing is on the wall there, dudes. You can leave. Like, the, the Alliance will take you in. <laughs> like, that's so weird. So weird. Okay. We gotta get riding. I don't think I have enough money for riding. I have four gold. That'll be enough. We'll see. Okay. I need to disenchant a lot of stuff. Because that's one thing I actually did was get disenchant- uh, get enchanting to disenchant. Nothing beats a haunted pumpkin! Well, while that may be true... And by the way, have you ever noticed that literally the only things that they have ever grown in Azeroth are like huge freaking pumpkins. Like just enormous pumpkins and there's like a vineyard. That's it. It's just pumpkins. Like you would think that they would have all died of scurvy or one of those like rickets. Like one of those old timey deficiency diseases that nobody gets anymore. Because we can take Flintstone vitamins. Like you'd think, you'd think that they'd all have, I, I, I can do it, like gout. Is gout old timey? I don't even know. Yep, we'll Good get boss. a mount. I haven't got all oh, okay, cool. Oh, hell yeah. I have a PvP talent available, you guys. Okay. I don't know what what mount should I use? Oh, I don't have mount equipment on this character. Hey, RC. Absoluta CWA. <laughs> We're saved by the random tele beam bananas. Well, that's the thing is like you can find those, but like, where do they grow them? Like tele beam is that that not lost beneath the sea? I don't <laughs> like what. Okay. I take this stuff far too, like, not too seriously, obviously. <laughs> but, but, all they grow is pumpkins! I know what you're talking about, but I interpret it as small frogs are screwed by the Flintstones. That's close enough. No, I was saying that uh, the only things that they grow on Azeroth, like as a whole, the only thing, there's like a vineyard in every other field, except for as soon as we got to Pandaria, it was like, oh, there's giant fruits and vegetables here. But the only thing that they grow on Azeroth is pumpkins. And they're not even like good pumpkins. They're like the enormous, like stringy, gross pumpkins you use for jack-o'-lanterns. Like, and the pumpkins are huge. They're like, I don't, I don't know why I'm making that gesture. I probably shouldn't make that gesture anymore, but they are, they're huge. Even Asuna had haunted vineyards. Well, Asuna was in Legion. Like, yes. like I, they clearly they have some kind of access to grapes because Millie Osworth in in uh, Northshire has her vineyard. There are apple and orange groves too, and apple trees and corn. I mean, they they must have got that grain that Arthas tainted from somewhere, but. I have yet to see agricultural phenomena to support that. Like, I'm not sure where the apples trees are. I mean, the horde grows pigs, so it seems like that's all their farmland is for, is just pigs. There's some more pumpkins. It's just, it's, it's all pumpkins. Cactus apples, there you go. I could import some cactus apples. But... Nothing gets you out of bed faster than a good old cactus apple. Oh, I have to pick out a mount. I don't know what I'm doing. I 
I'll tell you right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not a huge fan of the skeletal horses. I'm not a huge fan of most of the horde default mounts. I do like some of the wolves. Ooh, Shadow Pen Tiger. That could work. Um, this is the first time I've really played a priest in a long time, so like the priest mounts from Legion are not gonna do it here. Ooh, turtles. Turtles could work. Ooh, a camel. Camel. I don't know what I should pick. Cause that's, I always have like a signature mount and I always have a, like a signature pet that I use for all these various characters I play. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird or not. Hey, Cobra. What makes the pumpkins grow? Blood. Yeah. Indeed. Are there apple trees in... Well, that's weird, though, because why would you, like... I don't know if you guys know this, but very frequently, pollution and, like, things get into the veg... Like, when you say... When you call New York City the Big Apple, it's not because New York City had a lot of apple trees, although it did back in the day. It's because the whole of New York State has a lot of apples. There's a lot of apples upstate. And that's why they call New York the Big Apple. That's because of the whole state. It's not... <gasps> Ooh, fossilized raptor. Are there orchards in Elwyn Forest? I don't know. We might have to go look a little bit later. We could eat mushrooms. That's not exactly ag agriculture, though. I'm just saying, like, they have a lot of fields dedicated to... What is that? Void explosion. Ooh. Void form? I have no idea what my rotation is supposed to be now. I got a whole lot of stuff just all at once. I have a void bar now too, apparently. I don't I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be about. Clara's Charles would say so. Maybe. Maybe. Do I get void form now? Because this has a tooltip about void form. I don't think I have void form. Does it automatically trigger when I get to like a bazillion void? Where's Mitch? He should like hold my hand and pet my hair and tell me it's gonna be okay. <laughs> void eruption, what does that do? Explodes them, nice. The void bar is my insanity. I am insane. Oh, I'm in void form right now, I think, because I'm all like glowing and it's depleting super quick. I think. And then something just exploded off me? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm in storm right now. The main farm is pumpkins, but there are apple trees everywhere. Well, like, apples and pumpkins are not, like, it's a, it's a delightful fall tree, but it does not make for, like, a staple crop of a backbone of a consumer. Um, it's not, it's not healthy to just eat apples and pumpkins, and the pumpkins are huge and gross. The Brackwells, McClure, the Pearl Browns, the Saldines, all farmers. They all farm pumpkins! That's my point! All pumpkin farmers. Except for, I think, um, I forget which one is which, but one, either the McClure's or the Pearl Browns also, um, farm pigs. Like, that's their... They do, they do pigs. The apples are for a to a cider habit. My impression is that he drinks tea, but I don't know how he would drink tea. Although I guess, well, we, we've been to Pandaria, so now we know that Pandaria exists. So you can drink tea now, but. Now that we've been to Pandaria. There, there's other agriculture now that we've been to Pandaria. I will definitely grant you that because of those huge veg fruits and vegetables we saw all through Pandaria. But... Oh, is there a quest for to feed and to insider habit? That's good. The McClure's are pigs and grapes. Are they? Okay. Well, I mean, regard like two places that do grapes and 
All they do is pumpkins. It's so weird. All kinds of huge veggies. Well, there are all kinds of huge veggies in Pandaria, for sure. Stonefields do watermelons? Really? I do not recall seeing any watermelons in their fields. Like, I know that they... That one NPC sells them. But I didn't see that they had them just lying around. And if so, that's really ridiculous to make that decision to just have them in the one place. There's more friggin' pumpkins! <laughs> even the mages are growing pumpkins. These are all weeds. I don't think that's an actual crop, even though it's arranged like a crop. You're in the field right now. Oh my god. You've, you've gone a long way to prove me wrong. I will say that. Long way to prove me wrong. Oh, stone- oh. Stone field like stone fruit. Uh, or maybe they're just trying to shade his ability to actually grow fruit. I don't know. What is that? Earth root? <laughs> Get out. You were- oh, you were in the area. Okay. That's a likely excuse. Likely story. <laughs> There, there's just, I'm just saying, there's, there's a lot of pumpkins. That's all. Does this become something different? Oh, it goes up when I'm do. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I don't I, like I say aha like that makes any kind of difference to me. I don't I don't know what's going on. Where's all the mages? I'm just killing all the elementals right now. I thought the mages were up in here. Oh, I bet there's like secrets here. Like secrets we can't let them fall into the hands of the enemy. Like take your books with you. Quit being weirdos. Just take your books with you. But no great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. You know, I didn't watch that this year. Is there anything cool in here? There's a chair. Oh, it's the codex. Okay, I didn't actually have to kill all the mages. They just left their stuff here. Alright, naughty secrets. Rip the secrets from your flesh. I forget what else he says. Bring this stuff with you. Oh, I was supposed to fight my way in there. That's good. Can we decide on a horse yet? I like the fossilized raptor for now, but. Oh, I could use a mechano hog. That would be perfect. But it's so annoying. I hate that mount. It's just so loud. I sound like such an old person. It's so loud. I like the cranes. I do use the cranes sometimes on my... Ooh, I like the Grand Wyvern. I use the cranes sometimes on my, um, on my monk. Because any mount just looks amazing for, um, for, for gnomes. They're just hilarious. Dragon turtle. Uh... I gotta find a good one. Ah, dang it. Tell me everything. That, yeah, that's a vanilla. Oops. Just scrolling. I do you like the Karaji tanks? Ah, the little green nether rays. I I miss the the nether rays. Back in the day. Ooh, riding yak. That's good for a priest on the go. Ooh, grove warden. I don't really use that on any of my characters, but it doesn't seem very priesty. Especially undead priesty. I don't know. I'm so I'm so picky. Fell stalker. The Quillian is Oh, hello. I forgot I had that. 
Well, that's done and done. What joy is there in of course we're gonna rub it in Arthas's face. We have Vincible. Have you found anything yet? I have. It's a codex. Magical runes dance along the spine of the codex. Clever mages. The codex is sealed by a magical ward. Pity they weren't clever enough to realize that former Archmages of Dalaran are now forsaken. Oh, snap. Have you recovered the servitor cores? I have indeed. Well then. Praise the Banshee Queen lavishes upon you is apparently not unfounded. We already did stuff together, Dasha. Leave me alone. Why are all the why are all the Valkyrs so mean to me? We are the Forsaken. We will take take the Codex and travel north to the Selvakar. Once there, find Dollar Dollar Dawnweaver. Dollar is a former Archmage of the Kirin Tor. He will be able to bring down the protective wards. All right. Must we? Oh, my cat's still there. My cat! I feel like this is a super common thing that people do, but I think that it might just seem like a super common thing that people do because I'm trying to justify it to myself to make it seem less weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Do people do that? Is that a thing that people do? Is have a pet and a cat for their characters that they use specifically? Did they put out the undead heritage armor yet? I don't think they did. Not really keeping tabs lately. That's the one with all the worgen. There's a back route though. There's a back way in. <laughs> Since far thing. I bet I have to train the next rank of herbalism soon. Wait. I keep getting used to classic and then I go back and forth and there lo everything's located on different tabs. Oh, I just learned all the way up to 300 the first time I trained. Okay. I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> No. What are they growing up in here? Pigs. Okay, so this is a pig farm. All right, so it's either a pig farm or a farm with gi with just gigantic. I guess that they would grow the pumpkins, the gigantic pumpkins to feed all the pigs, right? So what are the people eating? What are the people eating? Ah, back here again. Just sell some crap. Ooh, swift this all nice. Kind of itchy. Let me disenchant a couple things I need. I need space. Pumpkin pancakes, ooh. Conjured everything, that is a distinct possibility. Okay. Oh, there he is. What is it? Let's see, Amber Mill Codex. The Dark Lady requires my expertise? Well, of course, give it. Relios the Relic Keeper. That's kind of an on the nose kind of name for somebody that you eventually choose to become your Relic Keeper. Elios. Relios the Relic Keeper. The Dark Lady is correct in her assertion. I am unable to unlock the codex. Unfortunately, I need a signet ring from the Dollar and Archmage to do it. My own ring was taken when I died. There might be a way. Dollar and floated away. When we find Aurelius, take his signet ring and bring it back. All right. Under ordinary circumstances, I'm not a vengeful man. In fact, I'm somewhat of a pragmatist. 
but in this case, since you're already going to the ruins of Dalaran, you might as well kill every Dalaran affiliated human that you see. The reasons that I want them dead range from hatred to anger to betrayal, but I assure you they are all legitimate gripes. I don't believe you. The nutrition value is of a sandwich you just manifest out of the air anyway. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure... Pretty sure... That... Hmm. There's something really funky going on. Here. I don't know what it could possibly be. But I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Maybe this food supply chain problem. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be worse than Shadowlands. They don't know how to feed us. Well, why would they even think of it when all they had to eat when they were alive was pumpkins? Like, I'm sure that that's like... Oh, thank God I'm dead and in the Shadowlands now because I don't have to eat another pumpkin ever again. Although I guess, like, well then, in that case, why would all the shredders in Westfall drop all that okra and hops? Well, I mean, hops are probably because of uh, dwarves. Or those could have come from Pandaria as well. I mean, plus, at this point, they know Pandaria's a thing. They just don't necessarily hang out in Pandaria. So, like, of all the things that you could take from Pandaria, why would you choose the enormous pumpkins? <laughs> of all the things. Telebeam has bananas. Well, good for Telebeam. But that doesn't super help us. Oh, this guy's a rare. Ooh, that was a lucky day. Lucky day. Ooh, bracers. Ooh, okay, we'll keep those. I'm trying to sell them on the auction house. Those bracers are tough to come by. The hops and barley would be indistinguishable from grains anyway in the game, and Westfall is all grains. Is it? Because there's a lot of pumpkin fields in Westfall, too. Like, I'm 99% I'm sure there's a lot of pumpkins in Westfall, too. I don't think it's quite as bad as it is here. I will give you that. Because it is bananas here. There's just pumpkins everywhere. It's like the Spirit Halloween store that pops up every, uh, every September. There's just pumpkins everywhere. It's very seasonal. Oh, this looks like some kind of wheat or something, but it's full of pump of uh, mushrooms too. I think that this was not an, an intentionally planted field. That's just a guess though. Why is there nobody here? Guessing this is for some, I was gonna say class quest, but that's not a thing. <laughs> Where the hell are all these mages? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go collect some more herbs. No big, just more herbs. Gigantic rabbit bears. What's that? Is that? Okay, it's Briar Thorn. Okay. I don't remember, like. My head is all messed up because I keep thinking all the stuff from classic and I'm like, ooh, Briar Thorn! Pick that! Ooh, lofty Librams. We don't need no stinking remnants. We also don't need no stinking lofty Librams right now. We might later. Ooh, 
of summoners. Why are you here hammering the buildings? Why? This is so nonsensical and illogical. Why are you still here? There's nothing here anymore. Dollar on left. If Dalaran didn't leave, then they needed to have told you before the fact. Because that's bananas. Pick up both of them. I'm just looking for more. More herbs. Evidently, you can make tea from Peace Bloom. Ooh! Well... And Swift Thistle, too, which makes it kind of, like, why would they not farm, like, make farms of Peace Bloom, then? Although, I mean, I, I suppose it could be, like, dandelions, but that's why people cultivate dandelions to make dandelion whatever. Like, that's the thing. People actually cultivate that junk. There are very few things which can't be cultivated. It's, pr from my understanding, it's pretty much limited to like truffles, and that's about it. Relios, you have rallied your last os. I'm sorry, your parents named you like an idiot. I truly am. I wonder where the coffee comes from. Yeah. Dandelion wine. Yeah. Now we're talking. No reason why there would be. I would think that there would be herb gardens everywhere. Like, herbs just make things taste good. I think that they actually do or did grow them in pots and stuff in some of the herb shops. Most of the reason that people cultivate like those like trash weed herb things like dandelions is because they just want to make sure that like a dog didn't pee on it or whatever when it was growing, you know? It was grown in safe conditions. It wasn't sprayed with pesticide or whatever, depending on your the use you want to partake in it of. Sometimes pesticide is okay. Sometimes it's not, depending on what you want to do with it. Fjorn Skagel. Fjorn Skagel looks to me a lot like a rose hips. I don't know. It may just be me. And those also make a, an excellent, very tasty tea. Well, let's get the heck out of here. What's that? Mage oil. Well, we'll pick that and then we'll leave. The, I love... Never mind. There's a bear on it. I love the Plants vs. Zombie minigame, but it's just, it's kind of a lot. There is a whole WoW cookbook. We made a whole lot of stuff out of the Overwatch cookbook, but that didn't draw from like, different herbs that only exist in fictional places. Like, this seems super loud. I don't know if it actually is. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. It's super quiet though, and I can't really, like it's a 2% volume right now. So, oh no. It might just be this particular song too, it's kinda. No, we're going back for Relios.
This is so weird that they would essentially make you run back through here. Through this heavily con contested. Although I guess you could go like up and around, but I thought that place was always cr crawling with NPCs too. I don't know, it's not super important. Man, I can't believe rioting was four gold. That's so little gold. <laughs> I mean, I know this area was built with it in mind, but geez Louise. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have the WoW cookbook. I'm not sure how it is. Um, part of the reason for that is because I don't eat meat and I get the feeling that, well, I mean, if you look through all of the, like, Azeroth recipes up until basically Pandaria, it was all chops, chops with ribs, rib chops, ribs from wolves and stuff. Like, there was no, there's an herb baked egg and that was about it. It's not bad. Okay, that's good. I kind of get the impression that it's less like, look at these crazy things that you can make and more like, oh, you're a fan of the franchise. Perhaps you would enjoy a cookbook from the franchise as well. Like I don't, I don't think it's super, although I mean the, the Overwatch one is pretty good. I don't think it's intended to be like a super intense. Like you're not gonna find soufflés and junk in there. It's just supposed to be fun and flavorful. Oh, did you, did you see what I just did there with a the flavorful, flavorful fun? I don't know. My face is doing things right now. I can't control it. Meh. Meh. Earth root and silver leaf, get out. Ooh, Nightborn. Flavor flow. I looked through the cookbook at my bud's house in Cali. Okay, cool. How'd you like it? There wasn't anything in it that I was like, shoot, I want to take a pic picture of this and make it at home. Yeah. Well, like well, like I said, the only thing that I would probably actually make from it is the herb baked egg. And I already know how to make an herb baked egg. <laughs> so. Spoiler alert. You put an egg in a dish with some butter and some stuff. I got a portal to Dalaran Crater? Come on. I saw him casting stuff. I didn't see the portal. Dang it. Ugh. What now? Learn from my mistakes. I did recover a signet ring. Relius was a pupil of mine back when I was a mortal man, thereby making him a competent and formidable adversary. I suppose I could have warned you ahead of time. Ah, there we are. Oh, no. I have to give up my... I mean, have to. My turkey leg. Well, it's not Thanksgiving anymore, so. I'm definitely transmogging back to that later, though. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> this ring only one may enter the pocket dimension in Amber Mill. That person will then need to fight through an army of magi and kill the archmage that is generating the face from inside. Only then will the dimension fold, ejecting all of the magi. Portal to entry is hidden at the back of a cave in Baron's Peril. That's all I know. Take the ring back. Okay. So that I don't feel a thing. Perhaps I'm a sociopath. A psychopath. Whatever. Perhaps. I'm gonna keep the wand because stabbing things just isn't my style. 
Hitting them with a mace most certainly is not my style. Is not. Say something shocking. <gasps> I stuck a fork in an outlet. There you go. Perfect. What's shocking? I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Oh <sighs> boy, we're at this part of Cataclysm. Of the zone where instead of going like, okay, now go to this person. Okay. All right. And there's like no real centralized hub. Now there kind of is a centralized hub and it's just, okay, you did one thing. Now go back all to the opposite side of the zone. Oh, you did another thing? Okay, go back to the opposite side of the zone. It's really kind of sucks. What the heck is that? Haha, <laughs> rain. Oh my god, it's a reindeer. But it's shocked Pikachu. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god. Who's that? Thule Ravenclaw? Why does that name sound so familiar? Ugh. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. Where's. Wait. Where's Shadow Fan Keep? Oh, it's. There? But that's Gilneas. So it's there? What? Okay, whatever. It's not like we're going there anyway. I have no time for games. I've learned only one may enter. I know just the person for this mission. It's you. <laughs> Thanks, Sylvanas. Oh my god. That reindeer's amazing. I hope they let you keep them. Like they did the pride ones, but I don't think they will. Take the ring, go to Baron's Peril. By the cave. I will communicate you with you through your thoughts. Because she can do that. Because she's not the Lich King. Okay. These were gonna take us for fools. The only an idiot would mistake one of their druids and bear form for a real bear. Unfortunately, there are many idiots here in the Forsaken Front. East of here, heading toward Hillsbrad, you will find Morgan druids roaming the woods, masquerading as bears. Oof, inconspicuous pantaloons. Are these the ones that are like, oh, I can't tell. I bet these are the ones that are just naked. Oh, no, they're not. Dang it. Oh, well. Strength. Okay. Bear steaks. We're gonna eat some Morgans tonight, y'all. Apparently. We're gonna eat some Morgans. I think. Alright. Just jeans. A dog and a head. Still just a dog. Maybe. Okay, guys. You guys can listen to smooth jazz and watch the Forsaken bomb Gilneas. I guess I'm gonna go reheat my coffee really quick, okay? Okay, be right back. Shh. Don't tell anybody. You can, might actually be able to see my shirt today. Why is it so nasty? It's so weird.
So, what did I make? How many, how many explosions happen? Smooth jazz and shaking bottom places is my happy place. Indeed. Indeed. My little, my face over here is real small. I don't like that. Hang on. This is not smooth jazz anymore though. And that's kind of in my face now. Um, hang on, hang on. I keep zooming, like, I keep telling it to zoom in and it's like, no, I'm zoomed in. What are you talking about? So I don't even know. It's not zooming. Well, whatever, okay. I'll just deal with it, it's not a huge deal. I just feel like I'm a tiny face in a big room when it's zoomed out this far. That's all, that's all. Okay, so we're gonna go kill some Morgans to eat. So where did we get the Morgans? And then we're gonna go to the pocket dimension because that sounds real safe. Oh, we zoom back in. There we go. I put marshmallows in my hot chocolate, or in my, in my coffee. Cause I thought that would be a fun idea, but it just turned it like a weird green color and I don't like it. <laughs> Cause all I have are uh, marshmallows to celebrate Frozen 2. So they're blue. It's really gross. Oh dear. I think somebody else may have taken all my organ to eat. Ah. I think Baron Sparrow is like up the side, right? Ooh. Ooh, they have a whole Valkyrie with them. My gosh. They must be very important. They have a Valkyrie with them. Shadows on me. I'm out of range. I think it's just because I'm full of insanity or whatever that metric is. I think it's insanity. I don't think it tells me anywhere. I am very insanity right now, so watch out. Watch out, bears. Oh, that turns into vo Void Bolt? Did I see that correctly? Okay. I definitely need to set up my hotkeys on this character now, though. Oh my gosh. A lot of insanity for one day. What's that? Mage Royal? Okay. We don't need that. It's too far away. I still haven't seen a whole lot of these super common herbs in my scans either. We 
which is super weird. Meat. Trying to act like a bear. Am I dying? What? I'm instantly skeptical. I'm gonna play with one hand and while I drink my coffee with my other hand. I hope that's okay with you guys. What is this portal nonsense? Or bubble nonsense? Drain you. Come on. There you go. Do enjoy the ready stance, though, from everyone. I don't know when they updated all these animations, but they're really sick now. I'm sure that they did so like a decade ago, but I'm still impressed. The blue beam of yesteryear. Why is this cave so big? I don't wanna kill all these people. again. How does this keep happening to me? What is this nonsense? Yeah. I'm gonna have to kill all my way all the way back out. I'm just gonna run. Heck this. Somebody just kill their way. Oh! Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh no, I thought it was Lillian Voss. Okay. That's fine. He's level 40. Okay, that's fine. The portal hums. 
Yes, this is it. Now run the ring along the roots of the portal. You should become attuned for transdimensional travel. You're now ready to use the portal. Be warned, once you step through, you will appear in another dimension in Amber Mill. There will be a hundred, perhaps a thousand magi waiting to kill you. Okay. Wait, so I killed all the way into that cave for this level 40 rogue, and now he's killing all of the freaking mages. What the hell? I am so sad. Lots of birds in this other dimension here. Why are they all still here? Why didn't you jump on Dalaran when it flew away? I'm so frustrated by these people. And I like. I don't know why I'm so frustrated by these idiots who were like. Okay, you guys are gonna leave in the flying city that we're guarding? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just, uh... That's fine. I, uh, we'll, ju we'll just stay here instead of coming with you. Like... We'll stay here and guard something that's not here anymore and it wasn't really worth guarding. Regardless. Oh, so your buddy on the patrol isn't helping you? Okay. Their spell board does not work. <laughs> that is hilarious. Spell board does not work, buddy. Do I have to kill? There's just so many things to kill at once. We don't get quests like this anymore. You know, with how it was redesigned, I don't think we're gonna actually even get a chance to go down to Stranglethorn Vale and do kind of nothing where he's quests down there. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> sure what I'm gonna do once we get to like Burning Crusade era. Oh, here's a sheep farm, I guess. Because I feel like Burning Crusade is really the only expansion where this is just, this whole thing is just not applicable, just about at all. But Burning Crusade is also some of my favorite, still some of my favorite content. 
so I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably just level through it. I don't even know. We'll see. No reason to switch it up, honestly. I don't think anyway. But of course by then I'll be like, I'm gonna play my Volcaro! Target. Let me in! Let me play my Valpera. I don't think I've met all of the requirements for that yet. Though I only have to be exalted with Volpera. I don't have to be exalted with all the other ones, so I think I'm pretty close. Witch a lock. Tremble and fears that call forth the mighty Doom Skull. What? Okay. Witch a lock. What the hell? I'm exalted on my horn made pants for mechanons. I can't do mechagon again. I honestly don't know if that's the case. One way or the other. I'm really liking the Witcher locks. That's hilarious. I am surrounded by wolf voids. Excellent work. Now to eject them into our waiting hands. Alright. You must find the being responsible for keeping this pocket dimension active. It's likely that fool Adaric. Ada Eric? Well, the name's Eric? Okay. He's protected by a powerful arcane shield and will send minions of arcane energy after you. Defeat the minions while they are near him to unleash the energies. Okay. Alright, Ada Eric. Let's go. Me and Dash look at you, buddy. Pretty sure he's getting hit. Oh, the fiends are just being summoned. They're not, he's not summoning them. They're just like drawn to his power or whatever. Sensitive to say that the armies of the alliance would march on my bones. Like, I'm an undead man. You can see my bones. It's not very nice. Your face still is the inevitable. Add a Eric. Take them now for the Banshee Queen. Well, they will be powerful additions to the Banshee army, but still kind of messed up. Out of Eric. Get some Worgen steaks. They have those catapults just ready to roll. I'm, I guess the front's like right here, though. So. 
It's not, it's not very far to drag a catapult. Ooh, there's Godfrey. I forgot about that cloth transmog, and it's really good. With this, like, witch hat with, like, the mask and the skull. Oh, I love it. I don't know if I have the black one. I know I have a purpley one. If not slaves to this torment? Now, with the Amber Mill Magi on our side, there's but one thing left to do before we retake Gilneas and send those Alliance dogs running for Stormwind. Does it give me new gloves? Heck yes it is. Oh, oh, fortitude, hmm. Purify disease, that's actually where exactly, oh, I did have my hotkeys set up. Where's my Tilda? That's my usual. That's usually my uh, my decurse. So my mouse down. That's what I usually use for my main attack. I guess I could put Shadowward Pain on mouse down. Hmm. I don't want to put. Mindfully add mouse down because it's a channel, so it'll be like uh, 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 when I try to spam it. I don't, have a target. don't need mind vision. Put it that on my right. Okay, cool. I need it. my incidental mount bar and stuff. Oh no, my PvP talents! Okay, there we go. What there we go. There ah, it feels so much better. The hour of victory approaches. Godfrey has devised a plan to decimate our enemies. I am sending you into the field with him and his men to bring rebel insurgents to their knees and seal the fate of the Alliance filth. Final march begins when you are ready. Ooh. Oh, okay. Our enemies are becoming smarter, adapting. Recently, an attack was made upon Pyro Village, southwest of here. Our troops occupying the town were decimated, but one thing they attacked especially interesting was the racial composition of the attacking force. No humans. They fear being reanimated as forsaken. We'll show them what happens to corpse we can't use. Oh man, that's nasty. Oh, did it work that way for the other lions races? That's good. Allied races. Allied races. Um, for their onslaught turned toward the Worgen, Alliance has managed to take Pyrewood Village from our occupying forces. Oh, that's that village that's right by Shadowfang. Okay. With these torches, we will burn Pyrewood Village to the ground, leaving only ashes. Okay. Forces in Pyrewood were recently taken by way of sneak attack. Seventh Legion managed to infiltrate the town. Dark Lady tasks us with a rescue mission, find survivors. Okay. Let's go find us some survivors then. Oh, is this Pyrewood Village? I thought this was Gilneas. No, Gilneas is like on the other side. Okay. It's based off the achievement, not the rep. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes sense. I'm out of range. More than Forsaken. More than a man. I'm something new, something else. Um, Lord Walden, you're you losing it. Okay. Oh. Worthless and maggot. Okay. I mean, they're not wrong. They are everywhere. You need to watch out. That problem. Cowards don't get to return home. Oh my god! Well, Godfrey shooting them? Oh my god, that's messed up. Wow. 
What did that quest deck say? We are to find the survivors and get them out of Pyrewood safely. If any soldiers live, they are likely worthless, but we do as the Dark Lady commands. Oh, man. I do love these houses. The little worgany houses. I always love Silver Pine until the Lich King let loose his rampage and scourge armies and turned the land to a massive rotting corpse pit. Now the sight of it boils my green blood. All right, Baron Asbury. A little bit intense there, but all right. the old animation for mind play. That's funny. That's a little bit funny. than yours is God Ray. We're all the way up to silk? Dang. We're gonna kill so many of these dudes. How can we shoot some of them and not the other ones? I mean, I know it's a whole like Crowley. I knew him. He was nothing more than a criminal before the curse took hold of our land. Now he's a great organ hero. Sickening. What would you ask of death? Oh. What? Oh, there it is. It's hard to see those gnomes sometimes, man. They're so little. Come on. Which one is the... That's out over there. Okay, cool. Your music the battlefront. Okay. What happened here today is between us. Say a word to anyone, you'll find yourself in the corpse pit next to these poor fools. Oh my gosh, you people are so creepy. Part of me that was gonna lay and died at Tempest Reach. Only vengeance remains. The Alliance reinforcements have established a foothold in the southwest region of Silver Pine called 7th Legion Base Camp. Primary goal of the base camp is to sow discord amongst the troops. Okay, we're gonna do some assassinating. While destroying Pyrowood will certainly garner us advantage over the Alliance in the field of battle, our true purpose here is to leave them crippled. Okay, let's get the battle plans.
Oh, I am supposed to kill these guys. Okay, that's cool. These do not seem even marginally harder than the previous one we were talking about. Okay. Oh, he has the really old one that, um, the really old mind play with the slows on it and stuff. So mind play does slows. Oh, it does slow. Okay, cool. Oh, he's healing me. Thank you. What's your name? Lord Walden. Thank you. We got Marstone, now we need the plants? Of course, it's all dwarves. Plans, so let's go. Second most important part of our battle plan. Looks like the reinforcements from the ships in the Gilneas are marching soon. Carly and Bloodfang have set up an encampment to the southeast for the Gilneas Liberation Front. Lorna Crowley, daughter of Lord Darius Crowley, is currently at Gilneas Liberation Front camp, located near the Grey Main Wall to the southeast. Our primary mission is to infiltrate the camp and capture our alive. Lorna Crowley! She's so good. The Dark Lady believes she will be able to use Lorna's bargaining chip against Crowley. We're gonna capture her and take her home. Or whatever. Oh jeez. Oh no. Come on, Crowley. Or Godfrey, whatever the heck your name is. So similar. I didn't even know that they actually are all that similar. It's just, it seems similar to me. I love the lobby NPCs who don't mount up with you, they just run faster. <laughs> Open your tents with supplies. Rage is the only emotion I have left. Alright, that's. Lord Walden, you're kind of losing it, I'm not gonna lie. You're kind of losing it. So the Banshee Queen has sent assassins. Lord, 
Is that how you greet old friends? Oh, God break. God break. So the rumors are true. Oh, I guess I should be trying to affect one of those weird cockney accents if I'm reading her lines, eh? My kingdom? My kingdom is no more. Your father and greymates onto that. Nope, Gilnaeus died and they allowed murderous beasts to reign free. Unchecked. I love her shield. Ha, <sighs> you'll have to kill me. Die. Alright, Lorna, that can be arranged. I know, hey card frag. Falls unconscious quickly. We must head back to the front before we are discovered. You run real quick for a dude who just turned undead and also is carrying a person. Remember, you're not even carrying her anymore, so that's fun. Then he goes and runs into Shadowfang. Good history of people leading things there. Oh, these are just regular kill mans. Oh, buddy, you're gonna get wrecked. Stand up to Banshee Bows. Tomorrow is Super Squirt Day and a. Is that? That's right. And Corey, remind me of that in work chat if you don't mind. We'll repub that Squirt Day guide again. For tomorrow! What are we if not slaves to this you have torment? Done it. Finally, everything is in place. Should Crowley not accept our terms, his daughter will be turned. Ooh, a ring. Our armies clash across the battlefield. Crowley and his forces are losing ground, and they do not yet know the fate of Lorna Crowley. We will meet with Crowley and his compatriots at midfield and I will present them with the terms of their surrender. They will either accept or we will kill them all and leave their cities in dust. As my most trusted soldier, you are to stand by my side during the exchange. Come on, Savannah, let's go. Onward. We'll bring back the alliance for dogs. Let's hear Lord Oran for the Forsaken. For the Horde, I guess. Because Chromash is here. I used to take uh, advantage of Super Sport Day, but I haven't in a while. There's just no too much stuff I want to do and not enough time. Lay down your arms and surrender. Leave your cities in dust and your lives in ruin. Okay, Sylvanas. Look at them. They scurry like rats, veering headlong to their doom. Surely Crowley and Butterfang can see the futility in this. Probably not. To the very main wall, we will force their hand. I will say that I um, tend to be a lot more invested when I have an alt that's in that level 90-ish zone. 
Um, so I can go to garrisons and level up, like, my actual characters. Although I could kind of port there. <laughs> a slightly more lobby character. Actually, it doesn't even matter, like, if you're, as long as you're, yeah, any character lower than level, than Cap can level off that, so. Over time. I have to do this quest like eight times because Sylvanas kept respawning. Oh god. It's not over, Sylvanas. Not yet. <gasps> you frivolously throw away the lives of your people while your own king sits on top of the throne of lies, nearly lifting a finger to help. What's this throne of lies? Like, it's dynastic, mon uh, dynastic monarchy. It's gonna be worth the lives that have been lost, the lives that will be lost. You cannot win. We will die trying. Okay, Growling. And your daughter, you could have saved her. You could have offered her your blood, yet you did not. Why? Lorna? What? Where is she? What have you done to her? Nothing yet. Oh, that's exactly what she said. Okay. I now present you with a choice. A choice that I was never given. I offer you the life of Lorna for your unconditional surrender. Whose life, I guess her own, would be the only one that she really cared about when she was alive. That she would surrender for, right? I offer you the life of Lorna for your unconditional surrender. Choose your next word wisely, Crowley. Did I mean she will serve me in undeath forever? Godfrey, you deceitful maggot. Hello, old friend. Lorna, release her. I will send the retreat. You can't be serious! You miserable bastard! Release her, Godfrey. Of course, mistress. Now leave here, Crowley, and never return. Lord Duran belongs to the Forsaken. Wee Sort of. Forgive me, daughter. Okay. Soldiers of the Horde, we are victorious. Lord Oh! Lady Sylvanas would rather die. <laughs> what have you done, Godfrey? Something that should have been not done a long time ago, you filthy animal. Gilneas belongs to me, and soon so will the rest of Lordaeron. Now join your mistress in death. Oh, am I supposed to try and? Okay, well. Back, brothers! I don't quiver and shake in the wake of our destruction. No, she did. Fix her. We are bound to her sisters. It will destroy us. Dashla, Arctura, and Agatha. It's our sacred duty. The pact was sealed, the bargain was made. Then let it be done. It was in your pack, though, was it? <gasps> I saw only darkness. At least I drifted toward nothingness. A brilliant light appeared, and then another, and another. My dear Valkyr. I know now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the Valkyr are our future. Like the. the pact she made is the pe like is that symbolic because that seems like it's very symbolic like obviously she doesn't mean for games we know at this point that she doesn't mean like yes yeah, so Valkyrie raising everybody is our future channel ads channel ads this is not over Godfrey and his traitorous allies will pay for what they have done 
as will the remaining Alliance forces occupying Lordaeron. Our work has only just begun. Leather pants. This war has taken a toll on us as a people. We have lost much to secure our place as the rightful rulers of Lordaeron. Another moment is won. The battle continues to rage in other parts of the Eastern Kingdoms. I must return to Undercity to recuperate. I want you to go to Hills, Bread, Hills at my stead. As my most trusted soldier, you will lead our forces to absolute domination against our enemies in Hillsbred. So I am very curious. Okay, we're not doing that. Yeah, we'll do that later. Um, I'm super curious about when, like, we know that um, Christy Golden and Steve Denuser were not on staff when they wrote this, and those seem to be the two, like, their two main writers in charge of, like, carefully crafting moments like that. Um, so I'm just kind of wondering what the point was. Oh, my face is in front of chat, so you can't really see it. But um, wh after they rezzed her, she said, I saw, and then dot, 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 only darkness. So I wonder if it's like, like, I'm sure that if, um, oh my gosh, if Patty Matson was actually reading it and using, like, her face to read it and stuff like that, she would be, like, kind of introspective and, like, I saw early darkness. But I wonder if that's, like, the the gears turning in Sylvanas's head, like, oh, I saw the jailer and I made this crazy bad pact with him and blah, 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 blah. Because she, she definitely got a hold of the Valkyr before she before the whole going down to the jailer thing because they were there to res her after she swan dived off of ice crown dang it I saw an herb so they were they were definitely there the Valkyrie were definitely there with her if not necessarily like under a pact with the jailer at that point so, like, mm, um, and that, the other thing that I'm curious about is that was her third death, right? Because she had her mortal death, she had the swan dive off of Ice Cran Citadel, and then there's that one. And when she came, there was that whole um, puzzle cube clue or whatever that the third, her third death will uh, usher our coming, I think it was. So to have that pact sealed then would usher in this whole, um, what do you call it? Uh, the ends off thing. That definitely was like a catalyst right there because it turned her from working for the horde not even like for the horde but like she is clearly out for herself at this point in the shadowlands and i'm wondering if that turn happened right there because she was like i gotta go i gotta go i'll talk to you in a minute i gotta go but i mean we'll say okay so you guys this is the best quest ever like i don't know if you have done this quest but it is so good and it's one of my favorites not just because it's unique and bananas and fun and funny but also because it's unique and fun and funny and that means that in the middle of like a grinding session where you're like let me go back and forth across silver pine forest five thousand times then by the time you hit this I am it's like oh okay We are emboldened by our conquests. Yes, we are. I was wondering when reinforcements show up. Suit up. It's time to dispense some justice. Welcome to the machine! It's so good. 
Come in here, dear girl. Have a cigar. <laughs> I, lo I love it all. I love it already. You're gonna go far. Fly high as a ranking officer of the Forsaken. Yeah, indeed. This is a good life. You're gonna live it. I want you to take these orders and dispense them to the lovely scrubs that come looking for work. Who you give what to is wholly at your discretion. When you're ready, mount up on my trusty skeletal steed so they don't miss you and start living the life, which means just staying there and wait. It's so good. You guys ready? Here we go. Stand tall and proud. Don't let any of these scrubs give you any trouble. Show them who's boss. I see one coming now. Looks like a real winner. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Hi. Hi, help. Hi. Hi, help. <laughs> He's wearing overalls. Um. Hi, I'm new. Big white light creature made me, things made me alive. I serve the magic queen. Yay, help. Hi. Or you should go take a nap or something. I don't know if I have any work for you. Okay, thanks. I'll just wait here with you. Thanks. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> it looks like something just came up. Yeah, it's on this sheet of paper. You need to head southeast to the Azuloid Mine and report to Captain Kate. Keaton. Southeast is that way. You point southeast. Seeing Sunflower is in this zone, but it takes a while. And I already have like five of <laughs> them. These new Forsaken tend to be a little, uh, stupid. It usually takes them a while to acclimate. Oh great, not this one again. I know this orc. He's got no business being here. But since he's a bottom feeder, he likes to hang around and play, prey on the helpless. Don't let him bully you. Can you smell what the log tower is cooking? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're running an idiot to put on this horse, Darthalia. This is the puniest one yet. What do you got for me today, weakling? Point me to where the Alliance hide and I shall dominate them. I've seen the fall of the Lich King. Creations of the Titans have fallen upon my mighty axe. When called upon, I alone spearheaded a victory for the Argent Crusade against the beasts of Northrend. Now I come for the ultimate challenge. What does Hillbred Foothills have to offer Kingslayer Orcus? Uh, apparently there's some trouble at South Shore. Something about Morgan insurgents? Maybe you could help them? Insurgents, you said. Is there any risk of death or dismemberment to me? None. Then Orcus will do it. Yes. All right. Thanks. Just go ahead and head southeast. More south than east, probably off the coast. Yes, cowardly quest giver. Sit atop your pale horse while Orcus brings glory to the horde. I wish we'll return with a thousand skulls. You're so hoping he never returns. Maybe you'll drown. Ah, crap. You're on your own with this one. I love the sparkle pony, though. Johnny Austin has arrived, Philistine. Present me with your menial tasks so I may complete them with only mild enthusiasm and most likely a complete disregard for any directions that you will provide are more complicated than what my map is able to display. We will persevere. Look at me, peasant. Heirlooms cover my body from head to toe, gifted to me by the greatest heroes Atheroth has ever known. Now look at yourself. Quickly look back at me. Yes, this horse is made of stars. What pointless series of tasks befitting a mentally deficient orc can be prepared for me? Uh, well, we've been having some problems with the sludge fields. Looking northeast of here, Morning Still Water can use your help. Fine, fine, what else? That's it. That's all? One quest? Surely you jest. Are there not bare asses to collect? Perhaps a rare flower I could pick from which you will make some mildly hallucinated hallucinogenic tonic, which we will then drink, resulting in visions of a great apocalypse. Perhaps the local populace mildly annoying, ill-tempered gophers are acting up and need to be brought to justice. No, nothing. That's all, Johnny Awesome. Take it or leave it. Stay the course. I will do this one thing you ask of me, quest giver. Pray I find more menial tasks to accomplish, or you will be hearing from me again, and I assure you my commentary on the forums of public opinion will be most unkind. You flipped me off! He's in the guild Uber Town. Welcome to the machine. So well, how was it? Everything you dreamed it would be? Exciting? No? No? <sighs> See that you're a true heroine. You need action. I guess a desk job isn't for you. Nope. Productivity from our spider farm at Azerload Mine. Must I? Captain Keaton has requested that we send help immediately. All right. 
Victory for Sylvanas. Directly southeast of South Point Gate, you will find our spider domestication operations. Through the years, we have grown a kinship with the spiders of Hillsbrand and managed to domesticate and breed the adorable little critters. Oh god. Uh, I need to head to the fields in the southeast and carefully harvest the bears when we find eggs incubating on the bears. The eggs on the bears! The eggs on the bears! Uh! The harvest of Sarah's the mine. Oh, we got shoulders though. That's good. Uh! Uh, bears are soulless beasts put upon this earth to torment us. Only through forsaken ingenuity have we devised a way to make use of bears. After they've served their purpose, the bears must be put down. Our time will come. I'm gonna have this expression in my face. Until we turn this one in. I'm so grossed out. Uh, no. I'm so mad. That's invincible. I didn't get all the eggs off of it. Oh, it's like, it's like inside it. I guess that's because of the model change. They're not, they're not as bad. They're like sideways. Okay, that's, that's not as bad as it used to be. I mean, it's still gross, but. It's like sideways. It's not really like on them. It's not as bad, I think. Why does this one still have? Oh. I see. It just keeps respawning on it. Gross. So very yucky. Oof. More herbs. I really need to sell all this crap off. Oh, that's all of them? Okay. Someone else here? Level 60 death knight, what the hell? What are you doing? Just notice the Pepe Nest the Blizzard Watch. I'm glad you enjoy it. I, uh, it, it took a little bit of know how to get him up there. But I think I think his his cute little face is worth it. Cute little idiot face is worth it. It isn't quite as bad as it used to be, I feel like. That's because it's invincible. Hopefully this quest will be invincible in about a minute here. Oof.
I'm not sure if I have to finish this bit before it'll give me the next part. Speak quickly. Okay. Spiders are starting to get a little uppity as we've been unable to feed them for days. If we leave the murlocs, if we, if we leave, the murlocs will overtake the post. Furthermore, Warden Stillwater over the sludge fields is demanding we send him more humans. He's insatiable. We need help. This mine was once at the heart of Hillsbrad mining operations in Hillsbrad. So now our spiders, it serves as a breeding ground for our loyal spiders. Though, the humans still occupy it in a way. On to business. There's some Farewell. humans. Long stretch of coastline. Something, something, murlocs. They stole the supplies. I don't know what the air quote supplies Farewell. is. I am like, would I do that? It's probably alcohol. Alcohol or something similar to that. Hey, let's go get some supplies together. Especially if it's about to snow, because being stuck in the snow without supplies is not fun at all. Yes. Postal delicacies. Feed the hungry spider. 12 Merlots. Yay, Captain, I am back. Hooray. Yay, Captain, I am back. Hooray. Oh, no. Turn mill. Okay, is that in the barrens? I'm on my way. Thanks. You have to feed your spiders if you just let humans live in a mine. I'm pretty sure it's make. You gotta make the humans live in a mine first. Did you, hang on, did you eat them? That's a how do I make it eat them? Yo, eat it. Whatever you kill, it'll eat. The more, the better. Okay. I kind of doubt that now. This is a... Oh, there it goes. Okay. I think I technically was not yet in the strand, so it was like... all on me because of the void and stuff. That's kind of cool. Why didn't you eat that co the other murloc though? Why why didn't you eat the other murloc though? I don't know. Yeah, okay. That's a, that's a thing. They still despawn and stuff like that. So... to end up killing so freaking many murlocs to get this to work. Uh, I got hate when that happen. You say tomato, I say tomato or morphs. What? What? Hey guys, guess what? I have a PvP talent available. What is it? The yak? That I've got? 
It's not the yak, is it? It's the mammoth. How you doing, man? I actually don't have a whole lot of stuff to sell off. I want to keep my bear steaks, though. Typical alcoholic beverage. Is that? No, oh, it's BOP. Never mind. Never mind. I can't bend her? Okay, there we go. Just chant some crap. I do not have a yak. I only have the mammoth. I do like the yak. But at the same time, I'm like, why am I buying more ground mounts when I already have a ground mount that has a vendor and a repair guy? I mean, the auction house mount guy is pretty choice. I do like the idea of having transmog on demand, whatever. Well, sort of whenever I want it, but... Well, that's a guy for a quest. I don't want to kill him. Don't want to kill the quest guy. I don't, well, I always think of things uh, in terms of... At this point, I think of them in terms of, like, actual money because the WoW token is a thing. So I'm like... I could buy an Expedition Yak, but because there are a million gold right now, that is similar to, well, no wait, how much is the Yak? How much is the Yak? Expedition Yak cost. Oh, it's only 100,000 now? Okay, so that's about the cost. That's about 15 bucks. Okay, that's no big deal. That's no big deal. No, yeah, I've been thinking in terms of the uh, the Brutusaur, which is seriously like $500. So it stands to reason that if the five thousand, the the five million gold mount is like 500 bucks then the uh, if the one million dollar mount which i think there was one in legion but it kind of sucked like it didn't have anything in it it was just like oh look i have a lot of gold and here's this creepy mount maybe when we get off to uh, pandaria maybe we'll buy that then Yeah, the spider didn't have anything though, did it? It was just a spider. And that was it. There was nothing to it. It was just a spider. I thought, anyway. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I think- I believe I've actually been wrong in this very stream. For the love of God, if anyone in chat is considering buying a Brutusaur for $500 on my tokens, just give me the money. I know. I could use an Xbox. I could use a new Xbox. Hey, we could use some subs in the channel. I'm just saying. I believe the gift subs count toward the funky emotes too. For uh, the, the Christmas time emotes. So if you're uh, considering dropping $500 in WoW tokens on that mouse, then uh, maybe sub to the channel. That would be a thing. Where the hell are all these merlots? <laughs> They're in the water, I just don't want to swim. Oh look, the cat is swimming! That's so cute! There's a cat.
I can't be trusted with money. That's true. I can't be trusted with money. All, no word a lie. No word a lie. The extra base underwater with these abilities is pretty, pretty sick. Do I not even have an underwater meter anymore? Is that an undead thing again? Or something? I must have one, I just don't have it enabled, I guess. Charm for your sleep, wand, cannibalize, I guess not. Took to the grave. Okay. Oh, can breathe underwater indefinitely. There you go. Hypothetical people who drop 500 in a Brudo can't be trusted with money. Buying an Xbox is a decent investment. There you go! Buying an Xbox is a decent investment. Never thought I'd see the day. Andy Murgle? From Murloc? Okay. I believe you, Andy Murgol. No, leave me alone. At least, very least, it's not five hundred dollars of ritual goods. That's very true. That is very true. I'm just cheap. Can't justify the expense, etc. What now? This should keep it happy and content for a few days. Even a good thing. Remember. These, the supplies look empty. At least we'll be prepared for any future incidents. Moving supplies like this around is a risky proposition. You never know who's going to open their big fat mouth. Keaton raises what appears to be an eyebrow at you. Trust no one. Need to pull my punch here. Okay, there we go. Oof. Damn it. Thank you for the follow or deep, even though it it scared the crap out of me. I feel like the zombie dude in there is particularly um, appropriate right now because we're doing all this undead stuff. Did... Oh my gosh. Ah! I should have done the thing. Oh no, I don't speak I don't speak Portuguese, sorry. I did try for a while, because there was a uh, a dude I knew in high school. Oh no no no! 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 Oh, that doesn't help me, thank you. Like you just did this quest like five seconds ago, you're level 60, please leave me alone. <laughs> Save dumbass. Is he 
up here. Yeah, there he is. Okay. You can hear John Mass speaking through the webbing. Hi, spaders everywhere! The captain sent me to save the world and capture humans! Well, this is place anyway, it's so hot! I Dumbass goes on and on about the situation. Perhaps you should cut him free and get him back to safety. Or you can just leave him here, though. It's your fault he's stuck in the mine. Come on. Hi, thanks, hi. Let's run up some humans for the captain. Come on. When I woke up, I saw the Banshee Queen talking to a big brown orc. Here's one. Thank you, Dumas. Come on. Thanks for rescuing me. Ah, oh, frick. This one is angry. Quite the question there, Dumas. Hey, Captain, I'm back. Hooray. Wow, yeah, that's great. I'm so happy to see Priestley. Helped you out of the mine for posting your tragic and inevitable death. Now, why don't you scurry along now? I hear Terra Mills looking for Sega just like you. Oh my goodness. These will do nicely. I wonder what the warden planned for them. Last I heard, the sludge fields were overrun by some very bad things. Have you ever heard the saying, survival of the fittest? What you're doing conflicts with natural law, lady. This idiot should have died in the mines. There's no telling what kind of harm he'll cause himself or another person now that you've saved him from his inevitable demise. You know whose fault that'll be, right? Damn it. Ooh, vampiric touch. Ooh. We're in still water at the sludge fields north of here. I sent out a stress signal. The missive wasn't clear, but one I could make the letter. There's a riot happening in the sludge fields, and most of the guards have been killed. The warden has warned that any would be heroes approach from the back entry, located on the western side of the sludge field. He's also asked for discretion. He doesn't want the news of this little uh, uprising to surface. Beware. Oh, I gotta go kill some more bears for this lady, too. Dang it. Gotta go kill more creepy bears. They're not really as creepy now as they used to be. Because that's misaligned. <laughs> they didn't quite... Didn't quite get it. And that's okay. I'd rather they didn't. Are you telling me his name isn't Dumas? The guy who wrote the Three Musketeers? I thought I thought he was Dumas, because it's French. But no, I'm pretty sure it, I'm pretty sure it's dumbass. I hope I don't get yelled at for cursing later, because I keep saying dumbass. Oh, hang on. Oops. Ooh, we could get a satchel of helpful goodies. Mammoth. Talk to me! Get rid of this cheese. We gotta go back. We have to go back. For real. 
You can put it both ways. Won't be shy. I'm not sure. I don't super speak French. I have tried. I'm just not very good. I don't have a head for languages. Like, it's a matter of necessity yes. survival. I could definitely get by, but not very well. The bear gods are cruel masters. They will continue to populate this world with bears until the end of days. It is our right as civilized people to make use of this nuisance for the betterment of us all. How a time we go. They're just bears. They're not a nuisance, they're bears, and you're filling them with spiders. Ugh. They're bears filled with spiders. Gross. Oh no, there's the bear. A whole lot of them are dead. Okay. I didn't realize there was a back entrance over here, honestly. I've done this quest line a whole bunch. And I didn't realize it was over here. But now that I know, like I just always ran through. I do really, really like this particular quest line. Not just because it's super cool because of the whole like wild and the sh machine aspect of it, but the whole thing is tied together narratively super, super well um, from the beginning to the end. And also like this particular slice of it with the like, no, no, everything's fine. I'm not crazy. Everything's fine. Like this aspect of it is re super well written and it's really cool and really well done. What do you say about bear gods? I'll pay them. You're not a bear god. You're Excuse me. Who are you? Did Sylvanas send you? Everything's fine. Yes, perfectly fine. I've got it all under control. Well, fine. All things considered. That is, we have, we have a few problems that perhaps you could help with. The farm is under lockdown. Nothing gets in and nothing gets out. We're still assessing the situation, trying to figure out exactly what happened. But my theory is that the laborers ate the mushrooms and somehow mutated into hideous undead monsters. I mean, how else could this have happened? This is just a farm. We grow mushrooms here and sludge. Yes, sludge. Uh, take a look around because now that you're here, you can't leave until the issue is resolved. See for yourself. You are a bear. There's trouble at the sludge fields. Isn't this warden still well stuff mirror the original horde questing in this area in Vanilla? To some extent, yeah. Because you go through and like, you kill slash euthanize slash whatever a whole lot of the NPCs that were here in Vanilla. Um, and now they're undead. Or abominations or something like that. I do find it fu kind of funny how it went from like, oh look, it's a nice pastoral place to like, oh look, it's a nice pastoral place, but it's like with mushrooms so now instead of pumpkin fields. <laughs> Cause all they grow in Azeroth are pumpkins. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a lie. And mushrooms, mushrooms and pumpkins. Fungus. The fungus among us. Um, I would say it's probably that mage guy over in that field over there, but I'm no expert. As you can see, they're all monsters. Most of my guards died, and the ones that managed to escape are now holding down the barricades, preventing any of these potentially dangerous creatures from getting out. We need your help. We must destroy all the evidence. Priestly, did I say evidence? I meant crazed undead. Anyway, discretion is key. We must not let the rampaging undead make it out of the sludge fields, and no one outside this institution must know about what happened here. Directly southeast of here, in what used to be the old mushroom farm, you'll find a reanimated fiend known as Citizen Wilkes and his cohort, Clerk Horace Whitesteed. They've been causing huge problems for my guards. Find them and kill them. Yeah, those were the original, like, from Vanilla Whitesteed and 
You had to kill them. I think one of them had like a stamp or something and one of them had maybe a deed to a farm and the undead were like, kill him so that I can have my family's farm once more or something along those lines. I am forsaken. Samples, yes. Must have samples. These um, experiments, I mean these unfortunate laborers must be studied. Travel southeast to the first farm and kill the risen ghouls. Oof. Ardo wrings his hands together and laughs maniacally for no discernible reason. Must test. Victory for Sylvanas. Test. Uh, I need to go buy bag. I need to go buy a lot of stuff. It's really. Be quick about your business. Uh, let's disenchant a bunch of crap. Oh no, those are BOE. Oh no! Oh no, most of the ones that are left are BOE. Dang it. Beware. Those poor unfortunate fools. I know, right? Seedling. It's so creepy. Oh, Quilts! He's a geist now. That's fun. have come upon a horrific scene. Something or someone has buried all the humans up to their necks in a manner consistent with planting. The ghouls, which are seemingly tending the field of human seedlings, periodically jump to the nearest human and devour its head. And this right here and now. Take this shovel and save the humans. Do the right thing. Smash in the seedling's head or free them from the dirt. Do the right thing. They plant as the dirt like crops. Still water's insane. Get out of here when you can. Um, well, I mean, I'm undead. But I appreciate the information. I guess. Thank you for saving my life. Should you ever be buried neck deep in a field of feces and urine, I'll be sure to lend you a hand. That is incredibly reassuring. You again.
That's so gross. I am very nice. I feel bad for people. Even if they're not real people. I can't free that one though. Undoubtedly you did the right thing. Hopefully humans that you saved will show similar mercy to you should the time of your planting ever come. This is all assuming you rescued the humans and didn't spider their brains all over the dirt, of course. Keep the shovel as a reminder of the horrors of the sludge fields and the depravity of mortals. Yes, I do tend to be good at two shoes in games, at least the first time I play them, and then all bets are off. I like this song. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no! Oh, there he is. I've been looking for you. Battle for his Brad. The journal documents the last 62 days of curse clerk Horace White Seed's life. It is written in it is written damning allegations against Warden Stillwater and his activities at the sludge fields. You should show this to the Warden. He will undoubtedly have an explanation for what is written in this journal. I should not show it to the Warden. I should instead show it to Sylvanas so she can murder everyone. Hello. I'll be the biggest jerk to wild NPCs. The medium is jerk to third person Bioware stylist NPCs and the nicest guy in the world in Telltale games. See, in Bowerware style games, I have to be nice to people who I want to smooch, and the people that I want to smooch always are like Paragon of Virtue and all that. For some reason, I don't even know. Don't at me. I don't, I don't know. I just like to smooch good idiots. I don't know. Stop. Stop it. Um, so I always end up being very good in those games because I'm like, hey, let's smooch. And they're like, but you're so mean to people. So it just kind of it just kind of cuts out the middleman. <laughs> if I'm just nice and nice from the beginning. Trust no one. Samples. Discretion is key. Well done. Wilkes was hanged after we discovered he was ingesting mass quantities of mushrooms and other highly toxic substances. After he died, he awoke, reborn as an undead geist. Many of my guards fell to Wilkes before he ran off into hiding. Fearing something like this might happen again, we incinerated the clerk until only bones were left. Why would they willingly ingest toxic substances? I have no idea. This is a farm. Nothing more. Not Jack and Mass Effect 2. I haven't played Mass Effect. Don't tell Liz. Or Anne, they'll yell at me. But I haven't played Mass Effect. What's this? We're in still water. Flips through. Ramblings of a madman clearly had been ingesting the mushrooms. It's good you brought this to me. I will burn it myself. It was only yesterday I sent her out to investigate the farm directly east of here, but it feels like an eternity has passed. I knew it was true love the minute I saw her. Okay. Last poor Jenny Awesome has not returned. I fear the worst. No extra quests. I'm telling everyone. Don't tell anyone. I get yelled at by people. No. Is it this one? Yeah. You there. Yes, you. I've been captured against my will and imprisoned illegally by Warden Stillwater. Get me out of this cage, I'll explain everything. Oh, Johnny what Awesome. Business have you? Twinkles, they killed her. Johnny continues to cry, a little snot bubble swarm in his nostrils. Shorel Aran.
actually nothing up here. Nope. Just do dad the flavor text. Speak quickly. This place is no farm. Stillwater's been experimenting with the humans of Hillsbrad. The monstrosities here are all his creations. It's not the worst of it. The aberrations still have the key to my cage, or former Forsaken. Stillwater's experiments have taken the side effect of turning Forsaken to mindless zombies. Why is he so afraid of letting this get out? He knows that such a crime is punishable by the true death. Get me out of here. The infected sludge guards outside have the key. Come. I do love that Twinkles is... They planted Twinkles like they planted the humans. It's so sad, and yet... Poor Twinkles did nothing. To, Twinkles did nothing wrong. <laughs> Twinkles didn't deserve it. Nothing wrong. Think. Come on. There we go. This doesn't end up being an escort quest. What is it? The key. There's a key. I'll let myself out. Thanks. I've never been so angry. So water won't get away with this. I will present his head to the Banshee Queen myself. I prefer Johnny Awesome stay behind. Oh. You're not leaving me to rot in this place. Take me with you. Yes. Water and still water sent me out to the field to investigate the outbreak. When I arrived, Twinkles and I were charged by the lumbering monstrosity known as Ver Verington. I was knocked off Twinkles and immediately ran for my life. Twinkles, though, stayed behind and fought the beast off. Alas, she was defeated and summarily planted in the soil as if she were some kind of glorious star pony seedling. She gave her life to defend me. Vengeance must be mine. Time okay, Johnny Ox. We'll speak. do it. Where the warden receives his comeuppance, we must deal with this outbreak. We cannot risk this contagion being realized in the world. Within the labor's quarters directly north of here is a monstrosity still water pieced together out of three farmers. Beware Oof. I'm pretty sure Ray gets Kalaba were three farmers that you had to kill back in the day as well. Alright. Now sent to the great horsey heaven in the stars. We will never forget you, Twinkles. <laughs> never. We will have justice. Dang, I feel like I'm running through the levels right now. That better be good. Once we deal with the rest of the undead, we will confront Stillwater. Magistrate Burnside was once the mayor of this region, and life is a formidable adversary in the battle over his brad, and in death he will surely test us. Alright. Oh, 
All right. See now the product of your meddling. Look, we didn't realize. You weren't in my hatred. Oh no, not melee attackers. Whatever will we do? Ooh, Lambit scale. Those are gonna sell real well. Now to bring Stillwater to justice. Hello. Will the undead outbreak contain the time has come for Stillwater and his followers to answer for their crimes? Though we have averted a tragedy, the likes of which has not been seen since Scourge invaded, let's ensure that such a thing can never happen again. We will take the head of Warden Stillwater. His head. It's kind of yucky. Come on. Leiden alive? No, I know where your allegiance lie, priestly. With the Banshee Queen, you weirdo. And you, Jenny, I thought we had a connection. You broke my heart for the last time. Or in Stillwater, you are deranged and a threat to our way of life. By authority of the Dark Lady herself, I hereby impose upon you the harshest penalty allowed under forsaken law. True death. It goes for all of you who traitorous scum who supported this fool. Kneel! <laughs> I am a threat. I am deranged. Yes. What I've created here is an evolution. This is how the Forsaken will thrive, not through some magical winged fairy sprinkling happy dust on corpses. I mean... Oh no! Go away! Kill them all. They were sort of subjects in our next study. One, think again. Stand before my new form and tremble. Rather not, thank you. John here oh so oh he didn't actually die okay cool do not waste my time I will deliver this head to the banshee queen personally of course I will make mention of your part in all this as for your reward take from Stillwater's cash whatever you desire you earned it a ring before my capture and imprisonment I was stationed at South Shore my primary job at the ruins was to take slime samples and make sure that the blight release was not was safely dissipating. Simple and easy, if not for the worgen that would continuously harass us. But I need you to head to the shore and find my apprentice. All right, done and done. We just need a hat and a necklace. Our ensemble will be complete. Okay. Well, we are at it. Let's disenchant some crap. Star pony leggings. <gasps> we'll remember you forever, Twinkles. Twinkles. I can't let the humans out. Even though all the undead are- I can't let, let the humans leave. That's kind of sad. Although I guess now we know where some of the corpses probably came from. 
that they're continuing to raise. All right, Sergey. Give me your worst. Something tells me I'm gonna run right into some badness. We'll see. Maybe not. South Shore. Hellkiller. What is it? Another interruption. How am I supposed to get any work done like this? Don't answer that. Do I look as if we care what we have to say? If we are to ever get this place cleaned up to expand our, and expand our empire, I will need absolute silence. The Oregon situation hasn't gotten me any better and Hunkular is really creeping me out. He used a fairly potent strain of blight against the humans of South Shore. As you can see, it worked. Trouble with blight use, though, is that blight tends to stick around after it serves its purpose. What I need from you is to take this testing kit and get out in the field and get a lethality count for the blight slimes we were re released into the area. Farewell. Okay. Recycling! There are thousands of blight canister bits and pieces. We can reuse those canisters again. For That's great. Hellkiller's rod giveth. I think I, I think I saw that video once. To think I, a master of me necromancy, trained by Kel'Thuzad himself, was reduced to nothing more than a corpse in a grave. Thankfully, my astute apprentice, Th Thyvind, managed to find a group of heroes to recover this. Hulkular whips out his rod. To power of this rod, I was reborn. The rod giveth and the rod taketh away. Take it now and use it to empower our dark rangers. Alright. You're a weirdo. Our dark rangers search the fields for war and terrorists. Okay. Kill some Morgan. Hang out with some blood elves or whatever. Cool. You guys have a PvP talent available? Somebody else right there, okay. What are rats? Nothing else. Perfect RP spot, though. I mean, honestly. Angry bite blight slimes. Blight slimes are beginning to react negatively to your poor outing. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> These blight slimes seem to be really angry. They've even got a faint outline of an angry humanoid face in the ectoplasm. I think he not would be too happy about having non-compliant slimes working with slime pools.
thingy. There's a thingy. Oh. There's the thingy. Blade slimes are beginning to react negatively to my prodding. Oh no. All signs indicate a breeding pool being inside the ruined town hall. You'll need to investigate. Ooh. I can pro Ooh, that's pretty. Let's get let's do that. That was a quest. That was a quest, all right. I'm gonna go after Orcus. Orcus is drowning. Help me, U.S. camera. Dwarf through Orcus in the water. Must not die. <laughs> Explain to Orcus who she is. Standing in shallow water. Just so stand up. Oh, oh, yes. Orcus has regained his senses. The foul human mage just has cursed Orcus's mind. Quickly, we get to shore. Must get to shore. Kasha is hurt. Kasha, come to me. I am fine. Gosh, uh. <gasps> Gosh, no. Oh, no, Kasha. Orcus' face turns as red as his armor. I, uh. Human must have cast some type of mind altering spell on Orcus. Orcus will explain. I tracked down the decrepit necromancer, Halcular, in hopes of getting a lead on the Alliance movement within Hillsbrand. Halcular tasked me with finding and killing Morgan. Ordinarily, this would not be a problem for Orcus, but I had just taken. Several helpings of Dirge's kick into America Chimera chops, causing my bowels to cry out in anguish. That's when the trouble began and how I ended up in the water. Hear Orcus out. Uh, I don't want to do this part now. It's so long. I just finished making use of the facilities on the docks, when Ugh, the Loctar must have been cooking up a turd, which would explain the smell. Oh my gosh. By a health screen's axe. Is that Belinda Stonehearth? Vendar? Why, Linda? Why aren't we meeting up with this Ivar Bloodfang fella? What in Bronzebeard's name is that terrible smell? They're massing at Purgation Isle just west of here off the coast. We're just meeting them there, General. As for the smell, Belinda sniffs at the air. I think it's coming from over there. Over there, Linda. What in the? You face Kingslayer Orcus now, dwarf. Oh god. I don't know. Kasha. Oh no, Kasha. And 
of toying around. Let's get out of here, Linda. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. What do you need? I will have my vengeance, but first we must heal Kasha. Kasha will fly again. I first arrived here, I flew around for days to learn the lay of the land. There's a farm east of here, overrun by gnolls. Yep. I know the very one. Samples and canisters and junk, though. safely out of that area. What is my hands? Oh, it's my main and off hand. I was like, did they give me special tools too? And you are. Oh my, 250? This thing doesn't go past 250. Why are you still standing? You should be a puddle of goo by now. Savannah will be most displeased with this information. Might be some things we can do to reduce the lethality levels of the area by a few decades, but that still leaves us out by about a hundred or so years. Alright. Job well Watch done. Your back. That ended up going quite well. <laughs> oh, we've killed a whole bunch of blood fangs already, apparently, I guess. My 
Yedimus the Yeti Lord. Okay. I need to get closer. Oh, snap. I watch. I listen. My arrows strike true. Feel like I watch. I I serve the Banshee Queen. Okay, so I have one last dude to do. Dude to do. I don't know, I'm tired now, so like, I'm just kinda not totally with it. Clearly. Ooh, mine's here. Should have killed Bloodbang and Server Pines. It's a shame he still lives. So it looks like we're gonna have to come back and do the mud blossoms tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week, next Wednesday. I think next Wednesday. Let me look at my calendar real quick. Yes, the next Wednesday. Um. So. Hello. For now, I'm gonna fly on back to Undercity and do the business. <laughs> I gotta auction some stuff, I gotta honestly mainly just auction some stuff and we'll come back here next week um, and we're gonna do more Hillsbrad questing and stuff and I hope that you come along with me and if you're just hanging out and you haven't followed yet make sure to follow so that you know when I'll be back. I'm always here at on Wednesday at 10 o'clock EST. Um, but we have a whole lot of other people streaming a whole lot of other stuff um on friday we record our podcast uh the blizzard watch podcast um which is all of the news and everything about all of blizzard's games and we now we have liz pat who's one of our newest writers um doing diablo which is like i i've been watching her and learning a whole lot from her because i am hopeless at diablo um, and it's Saturday, we have uh, Nico usually plays uh, Overwatch. She does Wake Up and Grind. She grinds Overwatch. Um, on Monday, uh, Tyler usually has an Overwatch stream on Monday. And then on Tuesday, they do like a weekly reset, like 
all the new stuff that's going on. They try to get that in and stream that on Tuesday afternoons and then Tuesday evenings. We have Ted doing Hammer Time Hearthstone. It's really cool and he's been doing a lot of Battleground stuff lately and I've been picking up tips from him there too because I just don't even, I just don't even know. Um, oh, that popped up. That's funny. Thank you for that, Corey. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess sch schedule isn't really a thing. Um, it's in one of the panels below, but we haven't added Liz Pad in yet because she just started doing it this past week. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys next Wednesday, I hope, for more undead shenanigans. And I'm thinking, like, don't, don't hold me to this, but I'm thinking the week before Christmas we may do another like cooking slash baking stream because it was so fun the first time and also um wanna kinda make some uh, Horden Alliance cookies. So we will see if that actually comes to fruition. If I'm organized enough for that to actually happen. <laughs> like don't quote me yet. So um But yeah, thanks so much for coming out you guys. And I will do the auctioning thing, and I will meet you back in Hillsbrad next week. Thanks for coming by. I'll, I'll, I'll miss you till then.